What is going on everybody and welcome back to the White Seedier channel. Thank you guys so much for joining me for another episode of Assassin's Creed Valhalla Wrath of the Druids. Um, if you guys did catch the last episode, please go watch it. At least skip to the end to see one of the most incredible cutscenes I've seen out of this game so far. It was absolutely stunning, absolutely beautiful. Um, it was a lot of fun. We went to the coronation of King Sina Flan, uh, who is now the king of Southern Ireland. Um, and uh, we went on some adventures to try and, you know, make his transitions as smooth as possible. Um, so now we are going to actually meet Flan and talk to him about what went on. Um, but yeah, if you guys haven't seen any of my previous episodes, check it out. Playlist in the description below. Uh, this will be episode four, I believe. In our adventure through Ireland. Uh, but I really appreciate... God, it's so foggy, I can't see anything. Really appreciate... Oh my god! <laughs> I really appreciate everyone stopping by. Um, been a lot of fun with this series. I uh, appreciate all the support I've been getting. All the great views and some subscribers. It's been fun. Uh, but thank you guys. Make sure to like and subscribe if you're enjoying it so far. I'm really having a great time with this game. Uh, love to have you guys along for the ride too. It's been an absolute pleasure. Um, let's do the follow the road. I feel like the horse goes quicker when you do the follow road feature. But so far, Ireland's landscape has been cool. Um, really dreary. A lot of rain, a lot of fog. Uh, if you're in Ireland, let me know. If you've ever been to Ireland, let me know. Is that actually how the weather is there? If so, uh, I'm sorry. It's like uh, Washington. I bet you the climate in Ireland is a lot like uh, Washington State. I lived there for two years, so I, I definitely know. I definitely know rainy and dreary and gross. Um, so here we are in Duro. This is where we're gonna meet King Flan. Before we go inside. He has as much to gain from this as we do. All right. Oh, okay. Ivor, you forget how to climb. Ivor. Ivor, did you forget how to climb, my friend? Oh god, Barrett's coming with me. We're going to the top, buddy. Uh, before we go inside and meet the king, I want to get this fast travel point. This sink Whoa, that was a shooting star. You guys see that? They got some shooting stars here. Oh, there it is again. Wow, I didn't know they had that. Really cool. Oh, there's another one. Oh, they're everywhere. You got a nice little meteor shower going on here. In Ireland. Oh, oh man. Watching Suno flying through the moonlight. Oh, that was beautiful. Man, this stuff gets me so excited. I hope you guys get excited too. Alright, let's go meet the king, brother. You're... We're here. We're mobbing in. Let's go. Laris, we welcome you to Doro. It has been a long time. Thank you for meeting with me, Lord. I trust our gift was well received. Exotic spices, all of which are foreign to me. I am impressed. Hey! The taste of things to come. Dublin will soon be known as the pillar of Ireland's trade. To a long life and prosperous reign, my king. Such fealty. Hey, he's impressed. My gratitude for your selfless actions and what preceded my coronation. Lord, it seems my enemies could not wait for my reign to begin. I know, right? Into it. An old tale between northern and southern Enail, I'm afraid. Enail. But it's one whose ending I will be the author of. Oh, such a power saying right there. Planning a war? A high king should have control over his land. And I shall. It takes a bloody war. I must be prepared for it. Oh, Dublin's we're going to war. To offer and plenty of stout fighters, Eivor included, ready to fight alongside you. <laughs> we're getting into Appreciate the midst of things. Strengthen the ties between Mead and Dublin. And as much as I find myself in need of aid, it appears you find yourself undermined by your own people. What do you mean? During the coronation, a monastery was raided and a Christian text was lost. The Book of Kells. Uh, Dublin Danes are to blame. That might have been me. Would be of great help. Let me be clear. But this capriciousness will sooner harm me than help me. 
Um, should I tell my cousin that I've already raided a Christian monastery in Dublin's borders <laughs> and stolen everything? But okay, we're gonna we're gonna pretend like we're upset about this monastery raid, and that I definitely would never do that. I take it the book is important. Authored by monks from the monastery of Iona some eighty years ago, it was. After the Danes first reached our shores, it was meant to preserve the Christian faith in uncertain times. Today, it is a symbol of that perseverance. All right, I get you. The book Sounds important. The ones who did this. Would you welcome Barith into your court? It would help. These Danes. It would help. <laughs> you know where they are? In a bog in Inch Row, just north of here. Eivor, this is my responsibility. Remain here. I will see it done. You're a king. You gotta stay here. The last thing you need to do is die right now, Barith. I'm the goddamn main character. I ain't gonna die. <laughs> Alright, so... Danes camp in the bog bordering Ikro, north of Duro. Find the Book of Kells. So the Book of Kells is a symbol of perseverance to the Christian faith. And they want it back after it was stolen by the Danes. And I completely understand that. Uh, I would also want that book back. So we're going to go try and get it for them. And uh, hopefully this will strengthen the bonds between um, King Flan and my cousin Barth. Enough to allow uh, him to allow Barth into the court. That would be pretty awesome. So let's head over to this bog. How far away is it? Oh man, look at all this stuff. We got trading posts. We got treasures we got mysteries um we got another raid over here so yeah very cool maybe i'll do another episode where i clean up meath i do all the uh the secrets in meath and yeah if i do one episode for each of those it'll be four episodes dedicated to getting treasures and mysteries and artifacts and stuff uh but for now let's continue with the storyline i ever sets out the door to meet by yeah yeah, yeah. yada 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 Let's go to the bog. bog. These are the ones who stole the book of Kells. I should search their stashes for it. Oh dear. There's a whole fortress over here. <laughs> this ain't just some lowly bandit camp. This is a whole Viking raiding band. Oh wow. Here we go. Alright, we have We have to search the bog and search stashes. So let's see how I can stealth this. As I haven't stealthed something in a while. We got a guard up there that I can easily pick off. And then that can be my little starting point from here on out. Come on, come on. Bruh. Oh my god, just get up. Thank you. This is taken care of there. Avenge Viking Warrior 87? How about no? I'm doing something. <laughs> Get good. Scrub-a-dub-dub. -dub. Dead. Is there a guy up there? No. Oh boy. He's a big one. Let's see if I can't assassinate his ass. Oh, I think I missed it. Yep. Shit. You big fat bastard. Get over here. Woo. That's a dodge. Oh. No. Got him. You didn't see anything. <laughs> did I take that guy's wealth? Because that Goliath had some wealth. I don't think I did. What the hook? Here's that dude. 
Sorry, Viking Warrior. I'm on a... I'm recording a video. I can't really stop right now. Why can I not hit this guy? There we go. Whooped. These predator arrows are gnarly. Got them. Let's take care of this guy right here. Whoa. Oh, that's a dog. Oh! Ah! Got him. Ow. Come here, Irish wolfhound. Ow, ow. God, its attacks are so fast. Fuck off and die. Holy shit. Alright, taken care of. Whew, lad. Let's get in here. It looks like uh, we got what we want here. Mm, no. Mm, no. Hmm. Huh. Can't. Need to get on the other side. Let's see. There we go. Oh god damn it. Why though? Why can I not? There we go. Perfect. All right, we got lots of loot in here. Lots and lots of loot. Some luxuries. And now this one. New quest trade, giving your words. That's different. Deed to the Lidsero trade post. Oh! So we have to find deeds and stuff to trade posts to be able to take them. Okay. That's good to know. So we got a deed to another trade post. That's cool. So it looks like it incentivizes us a bit to explore. <laughs> Not what I'm looking for. Not what I'm looking for. Whoa. Ow. Boom. Oh shit, that alerted all of them. Nope, nope, we're good, we're good. I need some arrows. Perfect timing, right as I ask. <laughs> Alright, where am I going here? Oh shit! Come here. Ow. Oh shit, I'm smacking my mic, I'm smacking everything, my headphones are falling off, my god, my hair is in my face. Everything's falling apart here. Hold on, everybody. Wow. Holy shit. Alright, back in action. Who's this guy down here? Come here. Come here. Why are you running? Ow. Ow, you little back of fucking bastard. That hurt. God damn, I don't like this guy. Come here. Holy shit. The little bastard was quick. Get away from me. I'm going to take your stuff. Ow. Alright, I need to find more. God damn it, that chest's not over there. Right there. That's That's it. I see it. Now, how do I get up here? Can I just climb over this? I think I can. Yeah, I can just climb over this. Gotta get to this blue spot. Hello? Oh, are we going into a cutscene? Is that Thorstein? Oh, of course it is. Of course it is. Holy oh. shit. Oh. <laughs> it's you. <coughs> to leave Thorstein. Ah, uh, uh, leave Dublin. Uh, correct me if I'm wrong, but... <laughs> This is not Dublin. You did not understand you were not to be seen again. Oh, no. Come now. How was I to know you would find your way out here? Why are you here? Looking for a book you stole. <laughs> you raided a monastery recently. Oh, 
It was several monasteries, actually. Ah. These new friends of mine do not tire easily. The book is important to the Christians. I need it back. The Christians? <laughs> See? You are an Irish lapdog. <laughs> and I'm gonna kill you, finally. I... I, I do not have it. What do you mean? Are you upset? <laughs> Please do not be upset. You are upset, though. <laughs> Running out of reasons to let you live. Uh, yeah. Uh, I know where it is. Boing tombs. Some strange folks offered me this hoard for it. I could not resist. Could you? All of that for the book? See? You understand. We are very alike, you and I. I, I could just. I think there's together. something special about that book. Do not kill me. Thorstein, your blood is not worthy of my steel. I could not agree more. Now vanish. Hmm. I mean it this time. A third encounter you will not walk away from. Oh, I am through with Ireland. My ankles ache for how I must dance around all of these kings. It offers nothing. Except for this. I will just take this. And this. <laughs> <laughs> all right. I'm not super mad with Thorstein. I mean, I did say get out of Ireland. And, or, I did say get out of Dublin, and he got out of Dublin. So, I mean, you can't be too mad at the guy. Um, <laughs> but, let's see. Thorstein traded a book to someone in the Boyne tomb. So, something's telling me that this book means a whole lot more. Than it just being a uh, a Christian holy text, because that was a big treasure hoard that was given to Thorstein. Um, so let's make our way over here. I'm gonna fast travel to the trade post since it's right next to it. Um, I'm wondering if this might tie into uh, you know the ones who came before. If this has anything to do with that main little storyline, um, should be interesting to see. Uh, I don't know. Who knows? But whatever this book is, it's got to be powerful. And there's a reason why the king wants it. So I can see this coming a mile away. There's going to be a moral dilemma. This king might go uh, drunk with power. But we'll see. We shall see once we get there. I see a little fire off in the distance. That looks like where we're going, so... I wonder if anybody's made camp over there. I'm ready to be introduced to these druids. We saw that dog... thing, demon... in the, uh, I believe it was the first episode? Or the second episode? Either one? First episode. When we were talking to Barith, um during uh, a feast that he was putting on for me. Those are bandits. Let's avoid them. Relax. Chill out. It's okay. We're good. Okay. So we're looking for the Book of Kells in these tombs. Blocked. I got it. Good thing I have special powers. Ow. Ow. Including being lit on fire. Oh god, look at that. That guy has antlers. Do the thing, do the thing, do the thing. Whoa, 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 got him. These guys look more traditional Irish type. I got the key to the Boyne, Boyne ter terms, the Boyne terms. Oh shit, those are traps and shit. God damn. Um, I'm gonna assume we wanna go down. Right? Go, 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 go. Boom. Making good progress here down in the born terms. We got a, a Celtic tree of life right here. Beautiful, beautiful. Can I just push it, Ivor? Please don't tell me I gotta go around. Just, just push it, Ivor. 
Ivor, pu push it. Push it, Ivor. Oh my gosh, Ubisoft. Why do you gotta make things silly and dumb? So Ivor is incapable of pushing, you know, a small shelf down. Which is unfortunate. Oh, I see blue. I see blue. That's a good thing. Got some luxuries. I got the book. book of kills. Now to get out of this ghastly Yes, yes, yes. Wasn't too bad. Wasn't too bad. I'm interested to see who these people are, though. And uh, why they were after this book of kills so heavy. Look at these symbols on the wall. Very pretty. Very cool. Let's get the yuck out of here. We're good. Now we gotta go back here. Good thing I did the uh, fast travel point. <laughs> Take a sip of coffee. All right. So we'll see now if this uh, this brings Barth a little closer to becoming part of the Rat Pack with our friend the King. I think it should. This is a pretty big favor. Hey, I got your book. The book. Have you found it? Its popularity is ever increasing. This is Owen, Abbot of Armagh. The book is for him. I remember. From the coronation. Oh god, look at that. I pray you did not have to endure much to reclaim this. A small price to ensure the High King's patronage. What's this? Lord. You are chosen High King by God Almighty. These are pagans. Alright, Dick, give me that book back. <laughs> I mean no disrespect. You better not, because I'm about to snatch that shit out of you. I don't care what you think. You have no say here. This is between two kings. I only mean to warn Flan of the possible implications. Nothing more. Yeah, that you might get a sword to the neck. Of them, Abbot. Yeah. Spoken past what is right. <laughs> get the hell out of here. <laughs> Just ganged up on this guy. I'm glad to see the book is back in good hands. He is colorful. <laughs> I do not blame the abbot for raising alarm. History dictates he has every reason to. What is your report? I have dealt with the leader in the bark. We will have no more problems coming out of Dublin. Then we shall turn our eyes to the problem at hand. Ulster is using his power to sway Connacht. An allegiance that must be snubbed before it takes flame. For that, we need to gain support from the other kings. All right. Speak with Kira. She will guide you in this. I shall return to Dublin to gather men and resources for the march. I welcome them. When we are strong enough, we will meet at Knock Free and devise a strategy. Sounds good. Sounds like a plan. You were gone some time. What happened? The book was in the hands of a strange cult. Procured it from Thorstein. I was weak to spare him. My own son knew better. Uh, yeah. I have come into favor with the High King. I will feel better the day Flan's trust in me is not shadowed by doubt. Back to Dublin I go. Talk to Kira. We must gain favor with the other kings. Quickly. All right. A show of character. So. Next step. Let me get rid of these markers. War efforts. With Kiara's help, Ivor seeks to gain the support of the surrounding kingdoms in order to strengthen Flan's army. Let's go speak to Kiara. Let's see what she has to say. Don't go through the glass panes, Ivor. Walk in the door like a civilized human being. That's great. I would like to read this lore, though. Urgent letter to Flan. King Flan, upon my return to Armagh, it learned one of our monasteries has been sacked. The Book of Kells is purportedly in the hands of the former Dane out of Dublin. Yep, 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 yep. 
That was all about Thorstein. And this one, my king, please excuse the haste in which this letter is written, for it is not penned by my scribes, but by my own shaken hand. The pagans, these druids, I am beginning to believe we have underestimated the resolve. While we attended the rule of Ireland, we have crept, they have crept into the, and slithered into our domains unnoticed. I feel we must convene on this matter. I await your reply. Your, your reply. Oh my god, I can't read right now. <laughs> Kerbal, king of Osrage. Osrage. Alright, so, it looks like these druids are starting to infiltrate. Um, I'm wondering if they're going to be the next, not necessarily order. You can see here the order of the ancients that I've yet to clean up that I'll do at a later date. But, um, seems that, uh, maybe the druids are going to be, uh, another tree of that, that we got to fight. I reckon Flan and Barris have found common ground, seeing as you're Good still here. That's yeah. true. Ara. And how much of your charm seeped into that conversation? <laughs> you merely showed the High King I'm a Norse you can trust. It is more than that. You've certainly left your mark here. Sure, I think Flan is fond of you. That's good, that's good. Um, Yeah, Flan is fond of what I can give him. He doesn't care. He just wants what I have. Flan has ambitions. I am the means to achieving them. That is why I'm here. We need to curry favor with as many kingdoms as we can. Flan said you could help with that. Aye. The kings of Ireland have long sent their grievances to the High King's court in hopes their pleas be heard. Their problems range from petty squabbles to larger issues. All right. We've taken the liberty of sifting through them, choosing the ones that might elicit the best response. I see. The bigger the favor, the bigger the reward. Uh -huh. There you have it. Keep an eye out for pigeon poops. That's where I'll leave any noteworthy tasks. Okay. Help solve their woes and the king's <laughs> woes. I like it. The men and supplies we need to invade Ulster. Okay. So gain support from Meath's kings, raise influence in Meath by carrying out royal demands to help its kings. Check Duro's pigeon coop for royal demands. All right. So let's go to this pigeon coop and see. I wonder if this is like a procedurally generated mission mechanic. Oh my god! I keep chomping on things. Uh, let me read these notes real quick. Letter from the kings of Eilic. Hi, king. Your letter is rather disconcerting and reads like an accusation, one we vehemently deny. Perhaps you should look within your own dirty linens for once behind this little incident and do bear in mind that, we're, that we were... Oh, my God. If we were so inclined to see you an early grave, we would not have failed. So he's throwing out ask accusations and stuff. Uh, letter from King Con... Conkobar, my king, I wish to extend you my most sincere congratulations on your inauguration. Your coronation was a feat, lively and bereft of nothing, and your poetess had a voice of a nightingale, capable of stealing the attention of men in the middle of a bloody battle, I'd say. Please accept a gift from accompanying this letter. It is but a small token of our continued friendship. Blessings to you and your family. Conkobar, king of Konakt. So, nice cordial discussion there. I cannot go out this door. Fantastic. So we gotta go around. Hi, kitty. Oh, God, I just kicked that cat. I'm gonna get cancelled on the internet now. It's over with. YouTube career's over with. Before it even started. Oh, I'm sure that cat's okay, everybody. I'm sure he's okay. Let's check this pigeon coop here. Royal demands are delivered by carrier pigeon. The messages are left in pigeon coops. What do we got? Royal demands are in trade post supplies and Irish resources by helping Ireland's kings... New royal demands can be found in the pigeon coops. Kings, please, are optional objectives given by the... Oh, God, kings. Complete them to earn double rewards per objective. Okay. Uh, so we got some stuff. Uh, it looks like it's given us all these rewards and good stuff. Um, hmm. Interesting. Meath, death sentence. There has been an incursion into our territory by cutthroats and brigands. A group of nefarious bandits prey upon our good people, ravaging their farmlands, plundering their cottages, and murdering any who resist. That sounds like something I want to take care of. So we gotta do Meath, death sentence now. We gotta take care of these guys. So we have to do a certain amount of King's Pleas. Um... In order to curry favor here. So we're going to do one of these pleas. And then I'll probably end the episode here. Take care of some of these brigands. And uh, yeah. 
So some uh, procedurally generated missions, I guess, to be able to raise influence and whatnot. And uh, it looked like that the trade posts also had pigeon coops. Yep. So it looks like there's going to be a pigeon coop at every trade post that I liberate. So that'll be cool. Let me see if it changes up. No, nah, it's the same one. So uh, let's head over here. Uh, we got a mission to take out some brigands and bandits that are terrorizing the people of Meath. Come on, come on, horse. Um, before we head over to there, though, I do want to get this. Actually, you know what? We'll go do this objective, and then we'll uh, end the episode on that sink point, on a nice little high point of Ireland. A nice little view. So hopefully there isn't too many of these missions I have to do, because I'd like to continue with this main story. Uh, but in the top left, you can see there's a King's Plea. So those are optional objectives that can double my resources. So remain undetected and do not take damage. So basically, uh, it's asking me to stealth this little camp that we're coming upon. So here's this camp. We gotta find a way to stealth it. Shouldn't be too hard. Doesn't seem like that big of a camp. Alright, I'm still not seeing any enemies. There's one. Let me get you down. Okay. Oh, hush. Man at arms. So I got a few guys down here. Actually, a lot of them. Man, how am I supposed to stealth this when everyone in the open? You didn't see anything. <laughs> He's taken care of. Oh god. There's a Goliath down there. Oh no! Not what I meant to do. Oh no! He's behind the tent. Oh dear. I'm gonna jump down because I think they're gonna start coming up here and trying to investigate. Alright, can I attract you over here? Oh, God. I guess I can attract you over here. <laughs> and gotcha! Bam! Alright, we're good. We only have two more. And we got the, uh, up Oh! Come here, big boy. Come here, big boy. Yeah, stomp your ass on over here. Yeet! Ooh, got him! We're good, we're good. And now we have one more left. And we're gonna jump on his ass from the air. If he'll come closer. Damn, he is just staring in. I gotta find a different area to, different angle to come at him from. Oh, of course he came in. Bastard. Oh, I don't like this. I don't like this. I don't like this. Oh, I don't like this. Dude, stop. What is happening? Bro. That's annoying. Uh, come on, come on, come on. We're good. Got him. Leave the area. So we were not detected and we didn't take any damage. So I think we're good. Yeah. Got all the stuff. Everything. Alright. So we got some trade post supplies. Some iron ore. From that. Oops. So now, yeah, we gotta do more of these uh, royal demands. But before that... Oh, wow, look at this place. That's really cool. We're gonna do this sink point. Tula locked. Uh, do we got that evil stuff going on here? Sorry, horse. Sorry. Sorry. Didn't mean to do that. Yeah, I don't like these. I do not like those at all. Yep, 
Yeah, get that shit out of here. Oh my god, more traps. I don't even notice them. I don't even know if they're doing damage to me. But that creepy shit is done. Let's head up to our sink point, everybody. I don't know why the music just changed. The ambiance. It's like it knows I'm about to go sink. Absolutely beautiful, though. Look at this stonework, this craftsmanship. All the designs and whatnot. Oh, wow. This is really cool. I wonder if this is real. Or if they found ruins and they can tell that this used to be a thing. Because this is, this is incredible. <laughs> wow. All right. That was awesome. Well, all right, everybody. Thank you for joining me for this episode of Assassin's Creed Valhalla, Wrath of the Druids. We explored some more through Ireland. Uh, we got to do some more of these royal demands before we can continue on in the story. Uh, make sure to join me for the next episode. If you made it this far, I really appreciate you guys watching. Uh, I hope you enjoyed the episode. It was a lot of fun. Uh, we got a little farther. Made some good relationships with King Sinaflan. And uh, hopefully we can continue to strengthen the bonds between Dublin and Meath in the next episode. But yeah, thank you guys for joining me. Make sure to like and subscribe. Love y'all. Take it easy now.